गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल एट होम टुडे आई बलजी सिंह वंस अगेन वेलकम यू इन माय कंप्यूटर क्लास सो टुडे इन अवर क्लास एज यू कैन सी आई हैव ओपन्ड हियर अवर पाइथन एप्लीकेशन एंड माय सीक्वल साइड बाय साइड सो टुडे we are going to connect our python application with mysql so for this uh, i will write some code here to make a connection between our python program or application with mysql database so i will explain the statements as i will write them so let's start so to make a connection between the python application and mysql first of all we will use import statement and we will write import mysql dot connector so this is used to make the connection between the sql mysql and between our python application now we need to create a connection instance or we can say a connection object we can give any name so i am writing here con is equal to mysql dot connector and we will use connect method and we will write some parameters inside the parenthesis of the connect method or connect function so first one is the host host is the host is the name of the computer on which our database has been installed as we have installed our mysql on our this computer so we will write here local host okay the second parameter is user if you don't know the name of the user then in our mysql we will write a command select current underscore user select current underscore user so you can see our current user is root at localhost so name of the user is root so here we will write in double quotes root and our third parameter is the password which we use to connect to our mysql in my case it is 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all the values of the parameters we will write in double quotes host is equal to localhost user is equal to root and password is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 or whatever you have assigned during the installation time of the mysql and in last we will write name of the database to which we are going to connect so now we will see what database are there in our mysql show data bases show data bases so you, you can see so i am writing here student as we know that our mysql database is not a case sensitive so we can write in upper case or in lower case after that close the bracket 
if we simply run this application run these two statements then we can check whether uh, we have write these statements correctly or not just save this file and after that run it you can see there is no error is shown in our output it means we have successfully created our connection okay now uh, we will create a cursor instance in the third statement what is a cursor in database cursor is a working area which is used to process the result returned by a query i am repeating a cursor is a working area which is used to process the individual results returned by a sql query so here we will create a cursor instance we can write here any name so i am writing here cur cursor is equal to con dot cursor so with the help of this cursor function we will create a cur instance so cur cur is a cursor instance after that we will write a query which we want to execute so i am assigning this query to a variable query in double quotes i am going to write a query create database create database computer science okay create database computer science now we will execute this query by writing cursor instance dot execute and here in the parenthesis of the execute function we will pass this query so we will write here query okay if the our query execute successfully then we will print a message we will write here database created successfully okay now we will check whether we already have this database or not so you can see here we don't have any database by name computer science okay so save this and run it so here we have got our uh, message database created successfully okay so now we will check here in mysql show databases now you can see a new database has been created by the name computer science so in the same way we can create our tables and insert data into the table and perform addition deletion means insert operation update operation or deletion operations so next we will do how we can create a a table okay we will simply change the query and here we will use our database newly created database computer science 
okay and now we will create a table create table and name of the table will be books create table books and in brackets we will write the column name of the tables column name of column names of the table books so first will be book number and its data type will be integer comma book name so name will be where cat okay and third column let it be uh, price is equal to sorry price data type float okay create table name of the table is books and after that uh, our field names means our column names with data type okay and now we will execute our query and here first uh, we will change this statement also table created successfully just put uh, double quotes here okay and here i we have written table created successfully now save it and run it so it is showing some kind of error here so it is in the name of the data type so where care okay run it again now you can see table created successfully okay now we will see use a name of the database computer science okay and here we will check our tables so tables and name of the our currently created table is books so you can see inside the computer science database we have created a table by the name books now we will insert data through our python application into this books table so we will write here we will just change the query here we will write here but before that suppose we want to uh, enter the values of this book number book name and price and we want to enter these values on run time so here we will write a variable name number any name just to get the value from the user during run time so book number will be of integer type so we will write here int input method and here we will write enter book number enter book number okay because the input method takes the values or take the input as a string 
but uh, book number is an integer value so we will write here int so that this string value will get converted into the integer value and secondly we will create a second variable for the name of the book so name of the book is a string so we will not write here int enter name of the book okay and third variable to store the value of the price so we will write here p is equal to float input enter size okay now in our query we will write insert into insert into name of the table is books insert into books values so here we will write this curly braces this first pair of curly braces for the book number second for the book name and third for the price of the book okay after that we will write format and in the format function we will write the name of the variables from which we will get the value of the book number book name and price so we will write these variables in the serial order so book number is stored in no number name of the book is inside the n variable and price of the book is in the p variable and one more thing the values which are in the string format for those values we will write single quote around the curly braces okay so it is integer we will not write any we will not write this curly braces in quotes but the book name is in the string format so we will write here quotes okay now we will execute this query or this code and here we will write one more statement which is con dot commit so this function is commit function is used to reflect the changes which we are going to made through this query to reflect these changes in our database we use commit function okay now here we will change the statement record entered successfully okay record entered successfully save it and run it so it is asking for the book number so book number i am going to write here 1 enter enter name of the book so we will write here python enterprise 150.00 okay now record entered successfully so here 
in the inside the books table we will see by using select statement select star from books to see our record inside the books table select star from books now you can see our one record has been entered in our database so suppose if we want to insert 5 or 10 or more records then we have to write this code again and again so the simple solution is we will write this code inside a loop as we don't know uh, how many records we are going to enter here so we will use here while loop and infinite while loop so i we will write here while true so it is a infinite while loop okay while true so now we need to set the indent because all these statement will come under this while loop and there should be some uh, statement to break this loop so here we will write print do you want to enter more records do you want to enter more records y4 yes and n4 no do you want to enter some more records and if the user and the, if the user press n if we will not write this inside the print function we will write this string inside the input function and that value we will store in a variable ch ch is equal to input do you want to enter more records and that value will be entered in the variable ch and if ch is equal to n then which statement we will use to break the loop it is break ok here we will write if ch is equal to n then break statement will execute to break the loop now it is again asking for the book number I am writing here to enter the name of the book C++ enter the price 160.00 okay now record entered successfully do you want to enter more records if we write here n or firstly we will write here y because we want to enter more records so it is again asking for the next book number next book number is 3 name of the book java and price is 200 ok now we will press n we don't want to enter any record so now it has stopped asking for the new entry so now we will check our records in mysql 
by repeating the select statement you just press the right arrow select star from books now you can see all our records here so in this way we can connect our any application with mysql so only two statements which are most important they are this one import connector mysql dot connector and making a connection by using this connection method or connection or connect function we can say okay so in the same way we can create a application to insert update and delete our records from our database okay